In this video, we will write the do login method of the authentication service.cfc component. This is the method that will do most of the job. So I have added a few comments inside of the method to help us out. You might want to pause the video here for a few seconds to reproduce these comments in your code before viewing the rest of the video. Remember that the do login function returns a boolean value, and that is a true false value. It returns true if the login is successful and false if the login fails. So the first thing that I will do here is use CF set to create a variable. I will use the var keyword to make that variable local to the function. And I will name this variable is user logged in. And at the beginning of the function, of course, the value of that variable is false because at the beginning of the function the user is not yet logged in. At the end of the function right here I will use a CF return to return the value of that is user logged in variable to the code that has called that function. All right, now the second step here is to get the user data from the database, of course using the email and the password of the user that are passed as arguments of this function. So to do that, I need a CF query that open and closes, and I will give a name to that CF query. I will name it RS login user. So that's the user to login. And I need to select some data from the database. Now I need to select some data from the users table. And in the users table, I first want the first name. Still in the users table, I want the last name. I will also need the user ID. So still in the users table, I take the user ID field. I want also in the users table to take the email of the user. Still in the users table, I want the password of the user. And finally, in the roles table, I want to take the role name. So if the user is an administrator or a member of the site. In the from close of the query, I take some data from the users table, but I also need an inner join here with the roles table. And I want to specify that on the user side of the relationship, there is this user role information, which is a number, and it has to correspond in the roles side of the relationship to the role ID. All right. Now, if I stop here, I will retrieve all the users from the database. And this is not what I want. So I need to add a WHERE clause in which I need to specify that the email of the user needs to be equal to whatever email is supplied in the arguments scope. So arguments.user email. And that is the email that has been submitted by the user using the login form of the site. So that is one thing. A second condition, so I need to add an end keyword here, is for the user password to be equal to whatever password was supplied in the login form. So arguments dot user password. And I also want to limit the search to those users that are activated in the database. So I need to also verify if the user is active is equal to one. Remember that this field is equal to one if the user is active and to zero if the user is not active. OK, so this is my query and I need now to check if that query returns one and only one user. If it returns more than one user or if it returns no user, the login cannot take place. To do that, I need a CF if that I will open and close. And I will take inside of that RS login user the record K 
count metadata and I want to verify if that record count is equal to 1. And if it is equal to 1, I can log the user in, save the user data in the session scope, and change the value of the is logged in variable. So let's close the CF if here after those three comments, and let's indent those three comments for clarity. OK, to log the user in, I need two tags of call fusion. The first one is the CF login tag. The CF login tag will open and close without any arguments actually. This is just a container for the tag that will actually do the job, which is the CF login user tag. And the CF login user tag takes, you see, three arguments, the name, of the user to log in, the password and the roles. So the name of the user to log in comes from the query. So in RS login user, I want to take the first name and I also want to take in that same query the last name. And this is the name of the user that I want to log in. The password of the user also is in the RS login user query, and it is the password, like that. And the role of the user, if it is an administrator or a simple member of the site, is also in that RS login user, and it is the role name that I retrieve from the roles table using the relationship. The next step here is to save the user data in the session scope. So here I will use a CF set tag again to create in the session scope a new structure that I will call st logged in user. And I will make that equal to a structure. So remember that the structure uses these curly braces. That's the implicit notation for a structure. And I want to add three keys to that structure. The first key is going to be the user first name. And I want to make that equal to some data that is here in the RS login user query to RS login user dot user first name. Now I need a second key inside of that structure, and that is going to be the user last name. And I want to make that equal to the data user last name that is in the RS login user query also, like that. And now I need a third key, which is the user ID, and I will make that equal to RS login user dot user ID. OK, so now that the user data is saved in the session scope, I can safely return to this is user logged in variable. And I will copy paste that here inside of the CF if and I will change the value of that variable to true. So here, if the user can be logged in, that variable will change from false to true, and this is the value that will be returned by the function. So this is the doLogin method. Let's save and run the component in the browser. to see that I can access the automatic documentation of that component. So this means that I have no syntax error in my component. Now, I might have some logic error, but no syntax error. So the first check here is OK. Now, let's quickly create the do logout method. It does not return anything. And what it does, it, it deletes the user data from the session scope, and it logs the user out. So to delete the user data from the session scope, I will use a CF set tag. And I will use the struct delete function of call fusion. Remember that this function can be used to delete a key from a structure. Now, the structure in which I want to delete something is the session scope. Remember that those scopes are actually structures. And the key that I want to delete is the st logged in user 
inside of the session scope. So here I delete the user data from the session scope. And now to actually log the user out of the Confusion server, I simply use here the CF logout tag of Confusion that actually logs the user out. So this is the authentication service. It contains three methods, validate user that takes care of the server side data validation, do logging that actually logs the user in and do log out that logs the user out. Let's do one last little check here to make sure that I have no syntax error in my component. And now in the next video, I can return to the form and write the form processing script that will use those methods.